Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Midwest. Today I'm going to show you some serious upgrades I gave to my Formica Montana. So, the first upgrade is this Ants Canada Hybrid Nest. This used to be connected to... Would you focus? This used to be connected to my uh, Phenogaster Picia colony, but they actually haven't been doing so well and have lost a lot of workers. So I wanted to get them out of this nest and into a smaller environment to hopefully help them recover. Um, this nest is normal. I've had them in this since I got them. And then this outworld also used to be my Aphenogaster Picchia's outworld. But like I said, they've decreased in numbers quite a bit. So I wanted to give them a smaller area that they would have to forage as well. Now, the biggest upgrade I guess, well, I already said that other nest was the biggest upgrade, but this is a pretty big upgrade too. Is this tube that leads around the corner there. And I have another clip. Um, I actually connected this before this outworld, so I'll show that clip right here. I just had to add this clip because I thought it was super funny and I know it's super bad quality but check out the beta fish actually following the ants in the tube it's so cute I wonder if the beta just spends time doing this for fun but it, you can very clearly see that he is following them this clip is actually a little bit more sad but one of the tubes disconnected the night that I added the long stretch to the sugar water tube and had some escapees and I guess one of the escapees found its way into the aquarium because this black neon tetra is eating one. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this tetra ever fully ate it because it was trying to eat it for at least half an hour but I would assume eventually it was able to get it down, so at least the ant didn't go to waste. Now, this outworld already had this sugar cube in here, and I've seen a few workers eating from it, so I guess that could be a good source of sugar for them if they're not willing to take the long hike to the sugar water through here. Speaking of the sugar water, there's actually a few workers there right now. It always seems as though there are at least three workers in here. I have never seen it less, except when I first connected it. In their old outworld, I also originally gave them a sugar cube as, long, as well as sugar water, and they ended up eating all of that sugar cube. So. Let's see if they will eat all of this one as well. I'm sure they will in due time. In their nest, they've had a lot of workers hanging out near the top here. And it's hard to get shots through this. I didn't exactly plan for filming when I made this nest, but I did take another video that I think got um, a little bit more decent shots of what's been going on near the top of their nest in here.
right, now we're gonna go ahead and take a peek into the hybrid nest. Uh, when I first connected it, I actually saw several queens using it. Um, I saw at least three queens in there at one time. This colony did originate with nine queens, and I would assume that most of them are living, but it's hard to say for sure. Since then though, I haven't seen any queens in here, but they still do keep some brood in here, and I think that it just needs some, some time to acclimate to the conditions. As you can see, it's heated, and it's very condensated, even though that there's no water in the water dish right now. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Make sure to use fast eyes because the workers freak out quickly. And I told you, very quickly do they start to freak out. Now you can see there's really not that many in here. There used to be a lot more, actually. And that chamber over there was a pretty hot brood chamber. But there doesn't seem to be any in there now. And they look so funny running through those those water droplets so fast but yeah they're not really using this nest much anymore um i'm wondering if it's because the water in this has completely dried out but also there's no there's so much condensation in here that i didn't want to add water but i'm gonna add water anyways and just see what happens well anyways there's not really much else to show i'm hoping that the continue to use this more so I can get better shots of queens and more brood. Uh, I'll hope that they'll continue to keep their brood near the top here because it just it's really nice to be able to see. Um, but yeah they're doing really good. As for the outworld, uh, you're just gonna have to wait to see to her next video on where their old outworld went because one of my other colonies got an upgrade as well. So yeah, it's a lot going on over here, and hopefully soon I can get you an update on the Aphenogaster Pikia. I just haven't been because they're not doing well, and I've been hoping to see some progress with them before giving an upgrade, an update, sorry, but yeah, um, maybe I'll give one anyways sometime soon here. Thank you so much for watching, please check out some of my other videos, and like and subscribe. Thanks, bye. Just a quick note here at the end of the video, uh, I would just be very curious to hear your opinion on the clips that I added with none of my talking and just some music playing. Uh, I know sometimes people would prefer to just watch the ants without someone talking over it, so let me know what you think about that. Thank you.